oil supply. It's all about oil supply. I'm just doing this because I just want to archive this bullshit. You could stop it, you know, if you're watching it anywhere along the way to read it. This is important shit right here. Look at this. Imagine that. Five million barrels a day. That's insane. They cut that shit to nothing. All right. Look at that boy here, huh? Work for ExxonMobil and now the foreign policy of the United States. Trump has said about Rex Tillerson, both in tweets this morning and interviews over the weekend, he is now Donald Trump's choice to be Secretary of State, even though some Republicans have expressed concerns joining Democrats with his closeness to Russia and Vladimir Putin. Of course, he's made business deals with Russia. Now he's going to be in charge of the foreign policy of the United States. And he, for example, has opposed U.S. sanctions against Russia imposed after the invasion of Crimea. Is that going to remain the policy? All of that is on the table when the Trump administration in January pursues the confirmation of Rex Tillerson. Now, of course, the uh, president-elect is also going to be nominating Rick Perry, the former governor of Texas, to be Secretary of Energy, a department that Rick Perry had said he wanted to eliminate from the federal government. This continues to pattern. What a fucking scam. Mentally at odds right. with the mission. It's all bullshit. Stood up to now of those government agencies that they'll up. be heading. Shut up, you all rat that bastard. will also be on the table for conference. Let me get rid of you, you're a rat bastard. Uh, my boy Trump, right? Here he's working with OPEC to put the big fucking hammer up our ass here. Yeah. You know, and this is a good part right here, right? Right, corporations in America laugh at that fucking law. Since they're all got the judges in their pockets any fucking ways. Well, this bullshit. He would reduce oil. Oh, yeah. And of course, this happened right as Corona was hitting everybody. Because I made another video. If you go on the YouTube and you uh, just type in the search, oil prices... I made a video when the oil it was sixteen seventy five a barrel. We're paying like a dollar a fucking gallon, which was still too high for sixteen bucks a ga uh, a barrel. But you know, we're not making enough money. People are eating too good. Fucking dickheads! This fucking guy. They're all the same. Don't think Trump is any different than Biden or Obama or Clinton or. Fucking any one of them. Go back to history. Roosevelt. They are all the fucking same under the thumb. They lick more balls than any prostitute slut working in the street. Fucking maggots. Look at this. Right. <laughs> fucking unbelievable. This was 2020. I believe it was around April they did this. Fucking 10 million a day. Fucking, ugh. Fucking people make me sick. Fucking unbelievable, look at this. I mean, you know, it's really just supply, right? Supply and demand. All this bullshit about Ukraine and Russia, that's all just bullshit. That's all a diversion, you know? It's Russia's fault. It's this one. It's fucking U.S.'s fault. Bunch of shit bags. April 13th, 2020, for this. You know, let's cut 10 million. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. So we come to today. OPEC's going to increase supply right after cutting it 10 million gallons, 10 million barrels a day, right? Look at this. Ooh. Dirty fucking sand monkeys. Fucking crazy.
Christ's sakes. <laughs> fucking makes me sick to my fucking stomach. I just want to make a little motherfucker. Again. Probably fucking, probably, probably get rid of the video.